Hi, welcome to my studio. My name is Dale Popovich and today I would like to discuss with you how to use your iPad as a tool for the artist. What you need to get from the Apple Store is the Camera Connection Kit. In the iPad connection kit, they give you two plugs. And the plug that you want to take has the icon of the chip from your camera. You'll insert it into the end. You'll take that plug, you'll insert it into the end that you charge your iPad from, like this. Now, you turn it on. and you go to your photos and what you do is you hit your import button down here this will import and you can select the picture to be imported and up here you can say import all delete all whatever you want to do So when you've imported what you wanted, then you can take the plug out, you can go to your albums, and this is what I've imported today. Once you've chosen your picture that you want to color adjust or alter the value of it, you then go to the upper right hand corner and you press edit. So what you need to do at this particular point is go to edit on the photo that you've selected. You see the icons along the side here. You want to go to the one that has uh, the feeling of a clock that has the dots going around it. You press that and you have three icons that show up. You have light, color, and black and white. You very seldom use the black and white unless you want to know the value patterns of your photograph. So I always like to go to light first and I can darken it like this and I can lighten it like this. Now if I want to see what the original looked like, I can simply touch the screen and it goes back and you can see that it's a little bit grayer. But I wanted to lighten it up just a little bit more, like so, and I go back, I look at the original, and now I go down to the color which would be the second application. And I don't want to goose it up too much because it is a fall scene. And again, I will check to see where it was originally when taken and what it looks like now. It makes it a little bit more colorful for painting. Now I'm going to go back and recheck the light to make sure I haven't got it too light or too dark. If I lighten it up again, that's way too light. And all I need to do is to bring it back to where I had it before, recheck, 
and simply press done and it will then go to the exposure that I wish to paint by. Now, the second, third thing you can do is also take and you can pinch out and in on whether I want to use all this photograph or a little bit of the photograph. There are things in the photograph I don't wish to be in there. I can exclude by when I start drawing the swing set, but this little white building is way too light and it, I'm not particularly fond of it. This is about where I want to be in a little bit more sky, less foreground, and I simply take a picture of it by taking my index finger up here in the upper left hand corner and press the two buttons together and that takes a snapshot of it. Then I can go to the camera roll, go all the way down to the very end and I have it appear right here in the format that I wished and the values and the colors. Come back and check out my additional tips and techniques on Thursdays and thank you for watching.